Am I the asshole? For refusing to give up my seat S and being crass about it? I flew home for Thanksgiving this week and got an early flight this morning so I would be able to do laundry tomorrow and relax before going back to work. I am a plus size woman the cause was finally diagnosed after 3 years of weight gain. I've lost 4 pounds in the last 4 weeks, so when I booked my flights, I spent extra money and booked two adjacent seats so whoever had the third seat in my row would not have to be squished up in my business. Flying out was great, the other person in my row was cool and we shared the middle seat and snacks and played Pokemon on our switches and visited each other's Animal Crossing islands. Flying home was where things became a bit more problematic. I was settled into my pair of seats, and a gentleman tried to sit his daughter 12, not a waif, nor was her overweight dad in my middle seat, where my bum is taking up a good third of the middle seat. I said politely, I'm sorry, that seat is booked. Your daughter can't sit there, while putting my hand on the other two threes of the seat. He immediately complained that he hadn't been able to book seats together and he needed to sit with his daughter. I shrugged and said I was sorry, but it wasn't my problem, that wasn't his seat. He called over a stewardess to complain, I explained my situation and showed my pair of tickets, and the flight attendant offered to comp my extra seat. I said no thank you, I needed the extra room and waved to where my bum was part way into the middle seat. The stewardess came back 10 minutes later with a wife from a couple who agreed to switch seats so the man could sit with his daughter. But not without attempting to shame me for not be willing to help out a dad in need and commenting about how selfish I was. I said, I booked early and I booked two seats together because to put it plainly, I'm fat. His two seats were separate seats. How exactly do you propose I split my fat ass in half to sit one half in one seat and the other half in his other seat? The woman turned red in the face and bitched at me for being disgusting, I replied that his lack of planning was not my emergency, and she scowled at me for the entire rest of the flight. When I told my folks about it after I landed, my dad thought it was the funniest thing he'd ever heard. But my mom yelled at him for encouraging him and said I should have been more willing to help out a dad with a kid when I had two seats. So I want to know, am I the asshole? Not the asshole. These airplane issue are getting out of hand. It's very simple. You book a seat, you are entitled to it. People can ask you to change but if you say no, that's it. End of story. I don't understand why people find this basic rule so hard to comprehend. Not the asshole you pay for two seats you get two seats. Her lack of planning was not my emergency. Couldn't have said it better myself. Not the asshole op. Not the asshole. You paid good money for that seat so it's yours. She should sit in the seat that was bought for her. I am obese and so are my parents. When I was a kid they always used to sit me in the middle seat and I hated it because I was always squished and it was so uncomfortable to this day I hate being in window or middle seats because of it. Good on you for booking an extra seat both for yours and the other person's comfort. I wish you good luck in your health journey. You. Not the asshole. You started politely assertive. He escalated it, and didn't plan ahead or pay for the seating he desired, unlike you, who did. Not the asshole. You took the time, effort and dollar to make sure you had what you needed way ahead of time. That seat was taken. I get why a father would want to sit with their kid. It would be okay to ask but no I booked this seat should have been the end of it. If people had respected you from the get-go there wouldn't have been a need to be so blunt but they didn't. Your funny AF explanation shut down any other argument. Not the asshole. You were considerate to others around you and paid the extra for their comfort as much as your own. Sorry, but his 12 yo doesn't get to sit and then make you feel uncomfortable when you paid for that space. Was it the air hostess that was rude? Or the lady who swapped? I would complain to the airline for the pressure you were put under. It's not fair. Well done on weight loss so far. Not the asshole. If the family had actually planned ahead as much as you did, they would have been able to book two seats next to one another. Ha 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 great response. I'm sorry you had to deal with those us, but good for you for how you handled yourself. I would have loved to share an aisle with you so we could play Pokemon in chat. FYI, you're totally not the asshole. Like, at all. Don't give it a second thought and continue being awesome. Not the asshole. You did everything you needed to do properly. Both the father and the stewardess can ask, but once you denied, as is your right, that should have been the end of it. Maybe the father should have booked earlier instead of blaming you for his failure to do so. Maybe the stewardess should have treated you with the same consideration she did the father. Nope, not the asshole. In zero way were you in the wrong. Besides that, 
It's a small space. You don't need to sit next to anyone on the plane. Being in a different row from a relative isn't going to make any difference. Not the asshole. I don't understand how you were shamed for paying for two seats to make yourself and your fellow passengers more comfortable. It seems like you can't win for losing I'm sure someone would have been annoyed if you were taking up a portion of their seat, which you actively made sure to not do. People are entitled and ridiculous. If someone cares that much about sitting next to their child, they should have thought through things ahead of time. Wow Jesus. Totally not the asshole. To be honest you did something rather kind in my mind by booking two seats in the first place. The fact the stewardess had the nerve to address it this way is mind-blowing. Not only not the asshole but I'd write the company posted on social media. Not the asshole those two seats were yours and paid for. Not your problem. Not the asshole. There was an entire plane load of people who could have offered to switch seats to help out the dad. Why are you the one being shamed? Not the asshole. Like you said, what are you supposed to do, you need and purchase two seats. Not the asshole I like your style. And you're 100 right his lack of planning is not your emergency. Not the asshole. And 12 isn't so young that she can't manage to sit by herself for a few hours. You paid for the seat you needed, and you intended to use it. Good on you. Not the asshole. The dad is stupid and the random woman shaming you is quite bizarre. It's hard to wrap my head around the fact that people like her exist. She's probably fat phobic. But you did nothing wrong so F her. Not the asshole and as for the offer to be compensated even if you wanted that, I wouldn't trust an airline to follow through. I've heard too many stories about people promised compensation and never getting it all they get is another series of calls trying to get the airline to pony up. Not the asshole and you're fucking hilarious, I agree with your dad. Not the asshole not the asshole, you paid for both, for comfort and to avoid awkward situations. I would file a complaint against that flight attendant. She's T.A. You did exactly, 100, what everyone is always saying people in that scenario should have done, planned ahead, bought two seats and you're not the asshole. Also congratulations on finally having a diagnosis. It's so hard when a side effect is weight because people assume and oftentimes they assume the wrong reasons. Congratulations on your journey. You are absolutely not the asshole. You paid for those seats. He could have booked two seats together and paid for them too, he just chose not to. If you had given up the seat he'd be bitching about how dare you be fat in his daughter's seat. A teenager can sit on a plane a few rows away from her parent. There was no excuse for any of this nonsense. Not the asshole at all. You tried to be non-confrontational and polite, but they weren't having it. So I think you said what you needed to in a very descriptive way. You're a boss much respect my friend. Definitely not the asshole, you were exactly correct I applaud you got standing your ground. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You bought two seats, you were entitled to those two seats, regardless of your weight. Had you been bone thin and still bought two seats for whatever reason, such as not wanting to sit next to horribly entitled people, you still would not be an asshole. You own the right to those two seats for the duration of the flight. Your weight is irrelevant. Not the asshole she should have turned red. You had every right. Not the asshole you booked a second seat because you didn't want another passenger to be uncomfortable that shows you are compassionate. Screw that woman and her useless commentary. Not the asshole. As you said, you cannot separate a portion of your ass to sit elsewhere. Airlines make it impossible for plus-sized people to fit in an individual seat, and some even require you book two. If the father needed to sit with his daughter, he should have discussed that with the gate attendants beforehand so they could find a passenger willing to give IP their seat. None of this was your responsibility. And you should complain to the airline about the flight attendant fat shaming you. Until you bought two seats because you were using two seats. Absolutely not the asshole but to file a customer complaint with the airline. Not the asshole. In the Wu Ul plane, there wasn't a single other person willing to swap seats. I'd have been tempted to let her sit there and just squish her personally. And she's 12-ish? I bet she'd have been happy to sit away from dad and text her friends and not have him looking over her shoulder. Congrats on the weight loss. Not the asshole. As someone that's made many flights stuffed into someone else's business, thank you very much for being so conisterate to others for buying two seats. Not the asshole, at all you planned ahead to ensure that your flight would be comfortable and relaxing. Airline seats are narrow and tightly packed, so you planned it out, perfectly. You were under no obligation to give up the seat, and you pointed out exactly the reasons you could not. 
that man should have planned to get two seats together, and gotten there early enough to secure the seating. That is a him problem. Nta. If they had offered to move you up to first class then okay maybe you could have moved. But they didn't. Not the asshole honestly, you probably couldn't have won. Even if you had let them sit there, who's to say they wouldn't have complained about space? You went well above and beyond to make sure the seat was yours, and you're right, although a bit crass, it's not your problem.